Today, we're doing a $100 budget fishing challenge. I already broke the kayak. That's awesome. Ooh. And there's a will, there's a way, folks. What is this? I catch small fish. Sincerely, Connor. <laughs> biggin, biggin, monster. The way this challenge is gonna work is that me, Fletcher, and Connor are going to get a random tackle box filled with $100 worth of fishing baits. Whoever catches the biggest total weight of all fish combined wins the tournament. However, there's a twist. We're only gonna have three hours, and to make this challenge even more interesting, I'm gonna be fishing from a boat, Connor is gonna be fishing from a kayak, and Fletcher is gonna be fishing from the bank. Me and Connor have the luxury of fishing from a watercraft, but we can't leave the lake that we're fishing. Fletcher, on the other hand, can only fish from the bank, but he's allowed to go and fish wherever he wants. Now it's time to decide who the $100 budget fishing champion is. All right, boys, we got the boat today. We're gonna open up our $100 tackle box with all the gear that we got and look and see what's inside because I have no idea. They're all mystery, they're all random and see what baits that we have to work with. We're gonna figure out what our game plan is and we're gonna get fishing. We got to uh, put these boys to the dust today, guys. We're getting the total weight of all the fish combined. So we really have to put a hurting on them. Not only do we have to catch some big ones today, we have to catch the quantity. All right, boys and girls, we have made it out to the pond and we actually got a sick kayak with us. So we've definitely got a pretty good setup to uh, hand out one of these things. It's gonna look just like this. We just giving out spankings, baby. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of jealous of Connor. I mean, he is whipping around in a nice kayak today, but we got the twin troller and then Fletcher's on the bank and he pretty much has the option to go wherever he wants to go. So we were in this lake today. It's about a five mile long stretch. We got a lot of water that we can cover and Connor's actually out here with me as well. I have no idea where Fletcher's starting. He could start on this lake. He could start in some other ponds, but uh, first things first, let's go through the tackle that we got for a hundred bucks and uh, see what we got. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time hit the subscribe button it really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it It's time to get the party started boys. Let's go ahead and dive into what we have here Choo! All right boys, we got a bunch of goodies here So let's kind of go down the line and then we're gonna get this three-hour timer started and we're gonna get the fishing because we got to Put a butt weapon on these boys. We can't waste too much time. So we got a pack of rage crawls We got a spinner bait We got a mock bouncer we got the primal vibe, little underspin chatter donk, swim bait trailers, striking thunder cricket. That's gonna be some sauce. We got a dang mag draft. That is some juice, boys. We might just catch some toads on that today. If you guys saw one of the last episodes, they've been smoking this thing. We got a bluegill swim bait. That's pretty cool. And then we have this tackle box with an assortment of a bunch of different lures. We get some good stuff here. I'm gonna go ahead and rip a. A little bit of a rage crawl here. We're just going to Texas rig this guy. So let's go ahead and get this thing rigged up. This fire crawl chatterbait is calling my name. It might be a little early for the fire crawl, but I definitely think the fish could be on that red bite. Super excited to throw this bait. This is a big fish catching machine. The bigs hammer this bait. Honestly, guys, I like what we're working with. I think we got a wide variety of baits, but this is probably going to be the starting bait. We're going to start off with this and make a lot of cast, cover a lot of water, and just see if we can get some fish on the boat and get some weight on the leaderboard. And then as we move on with the day, I'm definitely gonna be either throwing this bluegill swim bait or the old mag donkey, because I just feel like we could get some really big fish on those. But let's start off with the chatter donk and uh, get to work. Man, I hope these fish are biting today, guys. It was cold this morning, but it's finally starting to get nice out. The sun is out. It's just a beautiful day. We also have a little Texas rig rigged up that we can use. And then I don't know what we're gonna throw on that spinning rod, to be honest with you. But now that we're all tied up and rigged and ready to go, three hours starts now. All right, let's make the best of what we got here. We got our three hour timer running. Let's try to get off to a good start here. Just because we're in a boat does not mean we have an advantage today. We all have $100. Connor's in a dang souped up kayak. He can get wherever he wants. Fletcher has the opportunity to pretty much go wherever he wants. I mean, he can hit 100 ponds today. It's a, it's a different playing field as far as what we're fishing out of. As far as the tackle, I feel like it's pretty even with all of us having a hundred bucks. Gonna come down to who can catch them the best today. You guys wouldn't believe how fast this thing is, but obviously like that's gonna be influenced by my completely enormous calves, the biggest calves in the United States. It allows me to propel this thing at 6,000 miles an hour. 
Whoa, <laughs> watch my step, steep hill. Fan casting is the name of the game when you're bank fishing. Just kind of want to pick a spot, cast there, and then slowly make a few casts in a circle. Cover as much water as you can. By the way, I'm rocking my Kicking Their Bass TV X Lose combo. If you guys want to check these out, kickingtheirbass.com. There'll be the link down below. I appreciate anybody and everybody who supports me and the brand. You guys are awesome. But let's uh, keep casting here. I wonder if this fire crawl color is going to be a little, like if it's a little early to be throwing that right now. I'm curious. We're gonna fish for a little bit, and if it's just not happening, you know, we're just gonna have to switch. I wonder how the boys are doing in their watercraft. I'm gonna give them my best shot from the bank. They better not let me get that dub. That's actually a pretty good start. I already broke the kayak. That's awesome. You know, not too big of a concern though. We don't need to be uh, steering this thing anyways. Just gonna throw that there and uh, not worry about that. You know, the kayak was taken out under Noah's name. Yeah, it's nothing for us to worry about. We're gonna keep on going. There's a couple bridges we have to go under and then we need to go out to the main portion of the lake. Not saying that they can't be on this side of the lake, but I just feel like we need to get onto the other end. And this lake fish is a little weird. They could be loaded on this side and then all of a sudden, you know, no bites on the other side. You know, these fish travel, they move and they position differently. Hey, while we're moving, we're just gonna throw our bait out there and troll this thing. Ooh. Really could try to whip this thing and sling it way out there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's the spot. All right, let's go ahead and test out the stability of this thing. Ooh. Don't worry guys, I'll probably still end up flipping this thing over in about uh, 20 minutes, so. Just give it time, we'll get there. Gotta keep it moving. Finding these fish is gonna require some further exploration. Boom, bada bing. Little pocket right here just looks sauced. Until I get a bite, I'm gonna feel weird about throwing this fire crawl color. I'm not gonna lie. It's already kind of getting in my head. Look at that beautiful skip. Oh my goodness. It's been a minute since I've been out on this lake. I mean, this whole like area here, you can't tell me that don't look good. There he is right there. Oh, that's a decent fish, baby. We are on board. Oh my gosh, come on. That's like a two pounder. We're gonna get this baby landed. Come here, come here. Yes, let's go boys. I don't know if the boys have already caught one, but there we go. Beautiful bass to start off this challenge. I don't even think she's quite two. Let's see what we got. One pound, six ounce, almost a pound and a half. Okay, we'll take that one pound, six ounce here. Let's get back in there. Thank you, baby. Let's go, boys. Come on now. I haven't seen any of the other boys catch anything, and that is a great start. I was starting to get a little nervous with this fire crawl color, but she followed it out. It wasn't even like she hit it way up on the bank. So I'm not sure if I can get down to the bank from here, but this is a good spot that I normally fish from the boat. Well, let's get down here and see if we can get in here and get a few casts. Definitely should be able to make this work. Get out on this tree. When there's a wheel, there's a way, folks. It's the road less traveled by. That's the road you need to take to get the job done. Oh, no, he came off, he came off. I just had on a freaking unit of a fish i'm not super used to fishing on a kayak especially with pedals and then broke off the handle right there so i've been having to use the one on the left side so i'm having to like put my rod down to steer one thing that we need to pay attention to today is our retrieve you know we don't need to work this bait too fast we don't need to work it too slow just a good steady retrieve here we should be able to catch a giant right here it just looks way too saucy now this is going to be tricky so there is a spot back in this corner but i do not know if i'm gonna be able to get to it from the bank <laughs> we're gonna try our best ow those are thorns we're back here we've made a lot of noise ah oh, shucks well this is not started out great guys when you're limited to the bank you got to get creative <laughs> and sometimes getting creative means risking it for the biscuit and you end up with a backlash, but that's okay. That's a fish right there. Let's just go ahead and stand up. We'll just go ahead and get prepared. He's not coming off. Get in here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Fish number one. This guy's bleeding a little bit. I'm gonna try to do this real quick. One pound, one ounce, baby. Let's go. 
Dude, all this looks so good. I'm having like a hard time hunkering down on anything. I just feel like we're one cast away from an eight pounder. I'm fishing this fairly quick, trying to get any active fish that are gonna bite. Yeah, to where I wanted to be, boys. It's time to try to switch gears here a little bit. We might cast this chatterbait some more off of this dock, but we're definitely gonna switch to this spinning rod and try throwing this little paddle tail slow cranking this in some deep water. Good news is the boys are not far ahead of me and it just takes getting in the right little spot to get a few fish catches and really turn up the heat. But basically what I wanna try out here guys is just fishing in these areas where these fish might be staged up. We have a lot going on out here. There's a primary point there, a primary point here. I'm on a primary point. So we're just gonna do some fan casting around here. See if we can't find something on the bottom. We are looking good guys. I'm actually switching up this soft plastic to a little Cinco style bait. Change of plans. I'm keeping on the Texas rig, but I'm just popping this off. I'm, I'm kind of like your ex-girlfriend. I'm indecisive. Big bass, where you at? Come on now. Maybe they don't want the fire crawl, man. It's getting in my head a little bit, guys. I ain't gonna lie. We're fishing over this so fast. If they just didn't want to eat this, I mean, there's a good chance that, you know, Connor could even come up behind me and catch all these fish that I'm kind of going over. But that's a risk that we have to take. I am feeling awfully confident about this bait right here. Got some nice knockers in it. Sounds ready to go. Let's start firing this thing away. Hopefully we don't snag this. We only have two of these. That's the danger of fishing from the bank though. All right, fire crawl. You did me good by getting me on board, but I might come back to you here in a little bit. We're gonna throw it at the natural Thunder Cricket. And a three quarter ounce, which is a hefty dude. I don't think the weight's good, but the color looks great, man. All white, all white swim bait on the back of it. Just that natural presentation. I feel like we really can't go wrong with that. My confidence is gonna be high throwing this. Get in here. Oh yeah, good one. Yeah, son. Yeah, son. Let's go. Let's go. There we go, guys. That is our second fish. A little bit better size. Come on, give me two four. All right, we'll take it. We got a two three. We can rock with that. Fish number two on the board, baby. A little two three action. See you next time. If my fish senses are working right, that should be a dang giant territory. And we're a bite away from a dang 10 pounder, man. We're that close. So let's feel it. Dude. That was a bite, and he didn't have it at all. That's so weird, man. Oh, no. Our first snag. That's what I was afraid of. Ugh. Come off, please. Please come off. Hold on. Please, 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 please. Dude. Ah, it snapped. Shucks. That is really unfortunate. There is one of our two Frank baits. Oh, it's part of the game when it comes to bank fishing, guys. You definitely have to deal with losing quite a bit of baits. Anything with treble hooks can just be problematic. So I guess we're gonna go back to the old spinner here, see if we can't make this work. Dude. That's a stick. I'm about to say, I got a freaking Megalodon if that's a bass. Holy moly. I like didn't think it was a bite at first, and then I was like, I can't. I can't be playing around, man. Well, I wish we could weigh that one. <laughs> I'm going to troll one of the boys really quick. Let's, uh, let's, let's change Noah's scores here. I catch small fish. Sincerely, Connor. <laughs> Noah, Noah, he probably won't even see that because he won't even catch another fish. I'm just going ahead and calling it. I'm pulling a fish out of this corner. <gasps> I got him. <gasps> no, he came up. Dude. Oh, I knew he was back there too. Boys, I'm over here looking at the leaderboard. What is this? Under my score, it says I catch small fish. Sincerely, Connor. Did Fletcher do that? I feel like this is totally a Fletcher thing to do. Oh my gosh, he was on and he came off. What is going on? Pop my craw out too. Dang it, man. No updates on the fish weights. So that means everybody's struggling, which is what I like to see. 
Yes, yes, yes. We're on the board, boys. We're on the board. Hello. Finally got one. <laughs> all right. Okay. Well, now we need to get our scale, which is all the way over there by that bridge. But we're on the board finally, and that thing was barely in there. I didn't even have that bar past the skin. It was just in there. Pressure weight. Let's get our official weight. One pound, 10 ounces. Not too bad. Thank you. I'm gonna bring my stuff out this way. I like what I just saw there. See, this all looks so good, but they're just not, they're not here. And I keep saying that. It might be time for me to move, man. I ain't gonna even lie to you. Let's wrap around this side of the island. If we have to go to the whole other side of the lake, that's what we're gonna do. Yes, yes, back to back. Oh my goodness, folks, we're on them. It's a small guy, but I'll take it. Every ounce counts. For some reason, our scale is not working. I think we might have another one in the golf cart, but I don't want to keep this fish out for too long because I've been trying to get this to work and it's not working. So we're just going to estimate with this guy and we're just going to call him 12 ounces. I don't think she's quite a pound. Guys, I just rolled up on this absolutely massive python. Biggest one I've ever seen in my life. Hold on. Oh, wait, wait. There he is. There he is. See him? Hey, stranger. What is happening? Did you catch two back to back and forth? Back to back. Dude, that second one was a giant. It was a 12. Oh my goodness, I know you're capping. And by 12, I mean a 12 ouncer. <laughs> <laughs> was it that small? My scale stopped working and I had him out of the water, so I, I gave an estimate on the small side. Did you add some other stuff written down on your leaderboard? Did you see that? I did, is that from you? I, I, I think Connor wrote it. That, that wasn't you? <laughs> No, I, I, I was talking to the people about it and I was like, that is totally something Fletcher would do. Is Fletcher trying to do that and then blame it on Connor? It totally crossed my mind. All right, boy. Well, good luck. Thank you, sir. Guys, we're going to put on one of these black and blue rage curls. It's a subpar clear and a little bit of stain. I want to put on this rage curl and put a little more thump. Well, guys, I'm going to take maybe two or three more casts right here. No need to waste our time after collecting those two fish for the leaderboards. We're making a run down the lake. We got to get out of the zone. This this whole area is just not producing. I think it has somewhat to do with the fishes being tough today. This big cold front that blew in. But we need to get down the lake. I feel, I feel like it's going to be better down this way. Oh, see, he rocked it so hard. Oh my gosh. We just got to keep working here. I don't want to get too hung up on these, these spots where I miss fish. This lake is giant, so we've got we got plenty of opportunity to catch some more. So we just need to keep moving and find us some more little juicy holes over here. That's a miracle. Oh, he was running with it so fast, dude. He thumped that thing and started just taking off. I hope I didn't stick that fish. I want to say he thumped it, started taking off with it, dude, and I just never got a hook in him. Let's keep moving though. I don't want to get caught up on one dang fish. We have an hour and a half left. Connor looks like he is Drop my fishing rod. Drop my fishing rod. Please don't be broken. Looks fine. Try not to do that again. But like I said, it looks like Connor's in the lead. <laughs> I think we need to keep on moving. Dude, I threw that cast so far and he had it. Mm. Okay, I have an idea, man. I have been Pitching 10 foot in front of me this whole time. I bomb a cast where I get almost all my line off my spool and I get bit, of course. We're gonna tie on this black and blue jig and we're gonna put that black and blue rage crawl on the back of this. We're gonna be able to skip this thing up there. We gotta lock in here, boys. If they're here, we gotta capitalize on these bites. We missed the last two fish. It's not what we need to happen today. We need to flip the scripts, land a few giants here. Yo, get out of here, playa. This is my spot. These are my fish. We'll deal with him later. Let's go ahead. Let's go. Let's go ahead and cast that right into the bush. Are you kidding me? My line just flew into the dock, or not the dock, but the bridge piling, and it just got snagged on some random wood. You got to be joshing my thoughts. Oh no! I just got a cranked. Oh, I've been waiting so long for that bite. Shucks, dude. Dude. 
Why are they eating like that? <laughs> Straight up hit it one time and that is it. There he is. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, baby. Thank you, baby, thank you, baby, thank you, baby. Thank you, baby, thank you, baby, thank you, baby. Not a big one by any means, but that's a pretty one. Let's get this fish weighed real quick. Zero it out. Clip you on here, baby. There's only a pounder. But we are on board, guys. We needed this. One pound, 10 ounces. I will take that. Almost a pound and three quarters. Beautiful fish right there. There we go. Oh my gosh, we needed that fish. <laughs> one pound, 10 ounces. I was about to say he bit it before, man. And finally, I got another bite. If you guys are wondering um, why I'm retying this, it's definitely not from me casting into 6,000 trees, maybe even more. You know, it's not easy being the most accurate caster in the world. I mean, I haven't hit a single tree today. Don't be pulling my chain. All right, guys, this is the bank that led up to that one bite that I threw pretty far out and got hit. I just feel like this can be a really solid bank right now. I really want to hunker down and fish this slow as possible. These fish are biting brutally slow. So I kind of want to go back through this. I didn't really hit this front side at all, like this whole bank. I just kind of hit the corner. So I really want to go back through here and capitalize on some of these casts here. Oh, dude, I swear, I don't understand what's even happening. Now I'm hungry. Oh my goodness. That broke my hook off. I have never seen that happen ever. I literally broke my hook off on a tree. It's all good. We got more. You can give us a little retie. Who knows, guys? Maybe it was the hook. Maybe the hook was just not sharp enough. I think it's how they're biting it, but at least we got a good sharp hook on here now. Tippy tapped, buddy. Eat it. Eat it. Oh yeah, that's a big boy. Yes, son. Oh, yes, sir. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. <gasps> mm. Okay. Give me some weight, baby. One pound, 12 ounces. Not exactly what we're looking for, but you know what? We can work with that. I don't know how I didn't see it when I was weighing it, but I, I see this line coming out. So I'm going to try and help him out and snip this line as close, as close as I can. There we go. We got that cut down a little bit. He should be able to like poop that thing out or something, but all right, man. Thank you. Oh, he came off, bro. Why? That felt like a good one. I want to try something. I kind of want to throw off the bank like this because those two bites I had on this bank were more out. And he came off, bro. I, I don't I, I don't know what's going on. At least we picked up on something. We're, one, we're on fish here. And two, they're biting more off these trees. But I mean, I missed that fish, went down the tree line and boom, another bite. That's huge. There's fish in this area. I mean, dude, he was walking with the bait all the way up to me. He freaking grabbed that thing, was walking with it. It's like he had it by its little pinchers and never had it all the way. Big one. No, he's not. It's a tiny one. We'll freaking take him, though. Oh, my gosh. Made me think he was being 12 pounds. Caught him under the boat. And he actually ate it. Look at that. He actually got that hook. It's a freaking miracle. We can't get a fish to stay on this whole time, and this puppy gets hooked so good, I can barely get them all. That is fish number three, guys. Let's go, man. Come on. Now we just got to sit here and figure out how to get these fish to bite. If I had a Ned Rig or a Drop Shot, I am telling y'all right now, we would be on something special. Dude, he's only 11 ounces. That is unreal. Let me reweigh this. There we go. I was about to say. One pound, three ounces. We will take that all day long. Thank you, baby. Fish number three. And they're loaded down there. Let's just keep catching them. Yes, there's one. Got him. Got him, fish number three. On this little swim bait. Let's go, son. Oh, yeah. Stay down. Stay down. Oh, she's actually a decent one. Okay. Let's play this carefully. Um, I don't want to lose her. She's going to try to flip her up on this dock from up here. Uh, 
Yeah. Oh, I think I can just bring it all the way up. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, boys. Let's get it over to the scale. Of course, another freaking broken scale. It just worked a second ago. Oh, it just turned on. Hold on. Oh, and dropped the fish. That's good. And it's a whopping nine ounces. That is all she weighs. These other boys ain't built like me. Shoo! Later, fish. Oh my gosh, that fish about jerked the rod out of my hand. I wasn't even paying attention, guys. I don't know what I was doing. Dude. That's a big one. That's a big one, baby. That's a big one. Stay pin. Stay pin. Stay pin. We need this. We need this. Oh, he's barely hooked. Oh, he's barely hooked. Mm. Come on now. Close to a three pounder, baby. The first grass bass today. Let's go, baby. Come on now. Mm. We're just talking about being patient and getting on something. Oh, thank you. There we go, baby. Three pounds, three ounces. A nice brute right there. And that's the size that we need. Come on, let's stack up some more. You see that little dent on the side of her body? That has a beautiful three pound, three ouncer. And she absolutely crushed it. You know, today what we've learned, guys, is how these fish are biting. They're giving it one hard thump, and I didn't let any time go by. Instead of him spitting it out, I was able to get the hook in him. And we caught that fish now. Come on now. That fish right there gets us right back in the game. And I can tell you, man, it gives me more confidence with this crawl. I got him. Yes, sir. Get up here. Get up here. Guys, these fish are barely hitting the bait. I mean, look, how I barely have him just in the corner of his mouth. But let's pop him off and let's go ahead and throw him on this scale. Let's get some points on the board, baby. One pound, five ounces. That is not the size we're looking for, but at this point, I'm taking anything to get it on the board. Ooh, that fish is skinny. Good luck out there. I don't know what I need to do to get a bite here, guys. I have tried a lot of things today. I tried a lot of areas. Oh, it is rough. It is rough out here in these parts. There's one thing I have not tried yet, and it is a jerk bait. Let me go grab this rod and throw a jerk bait on here. Let's see if we can't make something happen with that. There she blows. Oh, jerky, jerky. Let's get her tied up. Oh my gosh. He took my whole crawl, dude. That was a big bite. That was a big one, man. Took my crawl right off the hook. That's how they're eating. They're not eating this thing all the way. And that bite was unfreaking real. The way they're biting today, and then you get a bite like that. Dude, she's not eating it, man. I mean, just, I don't know what else I can do differently to get these fish hooked. That is such a big bass, dude. She's got to be on bed or something. Let's keep on moving, guys. We can't get caught up on that one fish. Even though I think that's an absolute toad. Oh, big hit. Oh, yeah. Locked in, baby. He's not coming off. It ain't a big one, but... Oh, man. I, I couldn't tell you what was happening there. I, I was barely catching any fish. It's like they just gave up on it. To be honest, I don't even think this one's gonna hit a pound. Yeah, 11 ounces. Pretty looking fish though. Tell big juicy mama that I need her to come eat. This spot looks so good, guys. I'm expecting one or two bites right here. There he is. Oh, nope. I mean, he bit it, but he just didn't have it yet again. Story of today. <laughs> Let's see if he'll bite it again. I didn't stick him at all. It's unreal. I'm about to say this spot looks way too good. This jerk bait's not it. We need to go finesse. -y. The little micro jig has got to be the move. Got it rigged up. Let's get back in here. See if we can't get this fish to bite. And I'm snagged. First cast in there. That's great. Gotta love it. 
Oh, came out. <laughs> Definitely scared the fish, but at least we got the bait back. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to catch a fish, apparently. All right, boys, we're going to backtrack, and we're going to hit that bank where we caught that three-pounder and had those other good bites, because I feel like we just need one more good bite to seal this deal. What's up, boy? Dude, I can't find them, man. They ran away from me. What's happening to you? What's going on? Man, I'll tell you. I finally felt like I was on to something, and then I caught a big one, and then I got missed a couple bites. No way. Dude, that's where I had a bite. He bit you too, didn't you? <laughs> That's just the story of today. They bite like 12 times it, and never eat it. It's crazy because they, they won't stop doing that. They pick it up, they spit it out. So you've been having the same problem. Oh, it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> we only have a little bit of time left. I'm going to go back to where I missed that big one, man. Fletcher's in a blender right now. Fletcher's at like a brewery right now or something. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like we're on a blender today. It's pretty tough, man. At least none of us are getting our butts kicked. I mean, Fletcher is, but you know. Well, guys, at least Connor's having the same problem I am because I, I was about to lose my mind earlier. I was like, you know, we're getting the bites. We, I mean, it's not like we had like a ton of bites today, but we were getting the bites. We just could not land the dang fish. <laughs> so at least that's been happening to him too, and I'm not going crazy. There is a bald eagle right there, boys, and he's eating something. I'm not even kidding. You cannot make this up. There is a bald eagle right there, and you do not see this on an everyday basis. Holy mother of pearl. I got to go check this out. He's probably going to fly away. Look at that, man. That is a sight to see. Oh my God, what does he got? He's got a big fit. Dude, that's a either a big catfish or a big bass. He took that thing from that vulture. I ain't gonna hurt you. Just do your thing. Do your thing, pimp. Unreal, man. That was a sight to see. You gotta be joking me, dude. What am I stuck on? My line just went all the way. To, it was literally a perfect cast. And now the wind blew the line into all kinds of stuff and just ruined it. Look at that, stuck on a freaking piece of wood. Yes, oh, no, no, no. You gotta beat Joshua my tots right now. Golly, that was like a five pounder just came flying out of that hole. Dang it, that sucks, dude. Literally in the thick stuff. All right, boys, we had the bank where we had a couple good bites and I have another bite. There he is. Oh, hey, he's a squeaker boy, but that, that's a little more of the lead, Connor. Noah's catching fish right in front of me. What kind of disrespect is that? I'm gonna have to go catch like a 10 pounder now right in front of him. First freaking cast. I was adjusting my hat. I look like a weirdo right now, okay? But we got a fish. Just had to get in Connor's head just a little bit there. We're, our weights are so close. Definitely our smallest fish of the day. But listen, every fish counts in this, in this tournament. Yeah, 12 ounces. Shocker. Okay. Well, guess what? That's 12 more ounces that we have to play with, dude. Hopefully, we just stop sucking at fishing and then like, catch fish. He might have me by a few ounces, but if I get one fish that's five pounds, that could completely change the outcome of this tournament. We're just going to sit here and let the sun go down, enjoy the view, cast into the abyss, and hopefully some luck comes our way. I don't know what else to do. I've tried everything, just about everything, and it has been a hard three hours of fishing, man. Just gonna lay down. In the final minutes, if anywhere we've hit, I got confidence in and I'm like, we can catch a big one, it's this spot. Dude. Nice one. Nice one. Stay pin, baby. Stay pin. Stay pin. That's a good two pounder right there, boys. Get her up in here. Let's go, boy. I appreciate it. She said congratulations because we're going to win this dub, baby. That puts us in a good spot over Connor right there. Good two pound fish and our gut feeling to come back to this bank. Th this is it right here. Let's go ahead and weigh this one and keep on fishing try to make sure we're gonna win this. Anything can happen. I mean, Connor could go catch a dang five pounder, so anything counts. Two pounds, one ounce. Let's go, baby. Come on, tally them up. Two pound, one ouncer, beautiful fish. Thank you, baby. Let's put the icing on the cake, boys. I ain't just trying to coast into the finish line. Oh, hammered, hammered. Oh! Oh no, he's not huge. Why are you huge? See what he's gonna push us to. I don't think he's two, he might be close. He's 
we can work with that that's definitely a little bump not the five pounder i'm looking for that would definitely secure the lead for us but you know what it's better than nothing thank you buddy i'm gonna try to beeline it and hopefully we can knock out a few more and boys i know this is a hundred dollar budget challenge little did i know we're just going to be mainly using one pack a day in curls did not expect these fish to be that slow but at least we had these rage crawls and that hundred dollars biggin biggin monster 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 come on baby stay pin stay pin this is it this is the tournament this is the tournament. Oh, there we go. That's over three, dude. She felt way bigger than that, but that's over three. This is our biggest fish today. Come on, baby. <laughs> that's what we're talking about, boys. She slammed that thing, and when I weighed the hook, dude, I thought that was a five, six pounder. Oh my goodness, but we will take a three pounder all freaking day long. And that is a beautiful fish right there. Let's get her on the scale and get her back in. And we have time for a couple more casts. All right, zeroed out. Let's see what we got. There we go, another three pounder. She's an ounce shorter than the other one. Three pounds, two ounces. And that is gonna, dude, we're really securing the lead now, boys. We are really securing it. Connor had us for a little bit, but now we're coming back. Three pound, two ounce are beautiful bass. Thank you, baby. There she comes. All right, guys, we got about four minutes remaining in the tournament i'm feeling pretty good i haven't really even checked the leaderboard to see if connor put up some more numbers i'm just trying to get the most out of this we've actually caught three fish pretty quick in the last let's say 15 minutes here this may be our last spot of the day here unfortunately time is running out we got to make it happen right here and i'm gonna need a big fish let's rip one more cash we'll kind of try to <laughs> that is all she wrote you guys see the score on the screen i sure hope we held on to the dub there but that is it boys we worked hard it was a tough day and uh we stayed positive and we we got the results in the end